I want to dig deeper into this lawsuit by Cassie. She alleges that, you know, Diddy, he'll make her look online for BBCs for their freak <laughs> sessions. And she say that, you know, in this lawsuit that, you know, Diddy, he enjoyed watching her get smashed by BBCs. So, you know, what you think about that? Do you think she was the only one getting banged by him? <laughs> <laughs> Also in this lawsuit, man, this lawsuit is crazy, man. She alleges that, you know, Diddy, he made her hire and have sex with male prostitutes while he recorded it and masturbated it. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> he he, he do it funny, all. But... Yo, what you gonna say about that, bruh? You understand? He didn't want it to come back to him in a way, you know, he hiring the people. He gonna put it all on her. Because she knew what he liked. Because she wasn't just hiring it for her. Don't get that effed up, Art. If you think that she was just hiring those male for herself, nah. Bruh, I was in one of those uh, exotic bookstores with him. I saw this dude pick up butt plug. <laughs> and that's the first time I ever seen some shit like that. And when I said, yo, my man, what you getting this for? He said, can I do my shopping by myself? Hey, you and know said, he not lying, bro. You know he's not lying, dog. This is all facts, bro. The sincerity in his voice and the delivery of this story, bro. You know he talking all facts, dog. Hey, whatever the f they said, did he did, did he did that shit, bro. He did all of it, dog. I don't want it to get misconstrued that I'm laughing at a horrendous situation that took place with Cassie and Diddy. I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at Buddy and how he's telling the story, bro. Because he's so sincere, bro. He's so sincere, dog. He said, bro, what you get butt plugs? I ain't never he, and you know, <laughs> he never seen it. Like, what the f is that? <laughs> Ooh, bro. He said, you know, can I do my I'm shopping, shopping by, by myself? myself. And I say, yeah. <laughs> and when I looked up there, it said butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> I bust out laughing and went to the front door. So you heard the rumors? That did he gay as hell? I knew I used to wait outside a Turkish bath for him. You know what they do in the Turkish baths? No, I don't. Oh, you don't? Okay. <laughs> oh, you don't? Okay. You don't? That's where a lot of gay men meet. And they all take hot baths together. <laughs> To each his own, though, bro. Well, how you know that, though? How you know that, though, bro? Did you? Did he tell you that they, that they take hot baths together? Oh, maybe some. I mean, it's it's a lot of ways he could have found that shit out, bro. But that's a lot of sh that these guys get into when they start having certain meetings with certain people, and they meet them at the Turkish bath, and they do their meetings. And they meet their people in those type of situations. Yeah, everybody gay. Where they're comfortable at. Everybody gay. So they don't have to worry about uh, their indiscretions coming out. You mean? You understand what I'm saying? Everybody got them. <laughs> so that's why, you know, twice, sometimes, Three times a week, 
Me and the driver be outside. He'll run into the Turkish bath. Got that big ass tub at home, but you want to go? <laughs> no, go ahead. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, this is pure comedy, bro. Now we ain't done. We are not done, Gene Deal. Um, if you don't know, this is uh the ex bodyguard of Diddy, bro, and he's been snitching on Diddy for the longest, man. But after all these new allegations came out, uh, he's gotten some more interviews, and this motherfucker has been. Giving the tea. This one says, uh, Diddy forcing Cassie in the freak off sessions is true. Diddy a swinger. He had a session with Ja Rule. Was he doing this back then, these freak off sessions when you were security? Because I'm looking at this lawsuit and that's what they were calling freak off sessions when, yep. you know, Cassie, she would have sex with the male prostitute while he'll masturbate. Bruh, I can't say, because I can't say that when I used to see him swing. It was always with him, another dude, and two girls. You know what I'm saying? When he was swinging with other people, you know what I'm saying? He always had other girls in the room or another guy in the room, even with his girl Kim, and he was swinging with her. So... That's that freak crazy off thing, other people, like, but him video. I mean, it's different. I can never even try to understand what these fools be doing, bro. But it's just allowing somebody else to penetrate mine. And then I know that's a whole thing, but f that, f that, bro. But you know, Diddy weird as shit. and he gay, bro. Videotaping <laughs> and everything like that. Mm -mm. No, I can't say that I was privily privy to that but you knew what was going on you know uh just when just in the instant when people got it confused when i said uh when he was in the room with sarah and her girlfriend and he had ja rule and him in the room yo i didn't know they was doing anything freaky until Ja came out and said, yo, y'all didn't want to be in there because there's a lot of freaky things going on. <laughs> so I guess that was one of those freak off sections. <laughs> but other than that, I couldn't say anything. Oh, man. This and is you hilarious. knew and Diddy. And at one point, you and him was real cool. Do you believe everything she's saying about these freak-off sessions? Hold on. What do you say? Bring it back. I guess that was one of those freak-off sections. <laughs> but other than that, I couldn't say anything. And you knew and Diddy. And at one point, you and him was real cool. Do you believe everything she's saying about these freak-off sessions? Listen, that girl went through some tumultual sh that she never thought that she would ever have to go through being in the music business. Do you understand that? I've I've been next to people who are top in the game, in the music business. And they have said to me, yo, I had to suck a lot of to get to this position. <laughs> I mean, you, that makes sense, but like, who the f gonna admit that though? I can't think of any type of circumstance where that would need, where that would come up in the conversation. Like, what woman would volunteer that type of information to anybody? You top of the music game, and you gonna just tell someone you had to get to get there? That like discredits your whole. Sh Yo, I had to suck a lot of to, to get, get to this position. You understand? They have said that. So I can imagine what that little girl went through. Yes, I don't gotta imagine women having a dick to get there, but I could imagine someone with the, shit, I don't know what you call it, with the power and influence as Diddy being a goddamn predator ass creep over someone like a 19 year old girl like cassie trying to get on that makes much more sense but um you know i, I ain't trying to call cuz a liar maybe it was like somebody that was popping that was just cool as 
that didn't mind that information being out there. You know what I mean? But, you know, top of the music game back then, women. Who was at the top of the music game when Cassie was popping? Uh, I have no idea. But. With old boy. She ain't lying that thing. Because if she would have lied, he would have fought her tooth and nail. Facts. Facts. He would have fought shit. her tooth and nail, bro. ain't about to be dragging my name through the fucking mud, getting away with it, bro. We gonna air this. We gonna figure this shit out. You know what I mean? Like the only, the only exception is that, like, if we take this shit to court, all of our shit gonna be out there, and I don't want all my shit out there like that. So uh, I could see that. It's the same shit with the old Johnny Depp Amber Heard. Shit. Like the whole world shouldn't have been privy to knowing what was going on behind closed doors with them. But it was all aired out to clear this man's name. Like being someone like Diddy or anybody in that type of situation, man, you gotta know how that shit looks publicly. Hell, you can see now what's going on with Diddy, bro. How many goddamn deals has Diddy lost thus far? And we ain't done yet. He's lost like Macy's took his clothing line down. Some charter school he's been working with since like 2015, 2016, that he donated millions of dollars to, they have separated themselves from him. And cuz just stepped down from revolt because of all this heat being put on him. You know what I'm saying? So like, regardless of you paying people off, it don't matter because you look like R. Kelly 2.0 right now. Bro. Don't get it messed up, Art. He would've fought her tooth and nail. That little girl ain't lied nothing that, she ain't lied about none of that. Do you know what she's going through? She know what she's going to go through for the rest of her life? Her kids going to go back and see this on the internet? Right, right. And she also said in this lawsuit, man, that, you know, Diddy, he, you know, he came off as a mentor, but later down the line, he became too controlling. <laughs> My position on him, he was never a father figure, bro. <laughs> you understand? He was a groomer. He mm. was a, he was... He was he was an addict. He was somebody that was a what you what you call those? I, I, I've lost all of my terminologies. <laughs> then when I was working as a a, a BCW or a child abuse worker, but he was an individual that preyed on this young girl, mm. using her dreams, her talents. Holding it hostage for his own benefit. He groomed her. He wasn't no father. Mm. He wasn't no father figure to her, bro. <sighs> Shit, sad, man. You can just take her potential career out of it. Say she was just, you know, some 19 year old that Diddy ran into. The amount of molding and grooming and conditioning that would take place just in that dynamic alone, right? You can imagine how a multi-billionaire, I don't know if he's a billionaire. Is Diddy a billionaire? He, what, it don't fucking matter. Diddy, rich shit, he's fucking Diddy, right? And, he, and he's talking to an 18, 19 year old girl because he's he interested in her. Just him being Diddy alone, he gonna have that girl goddamn, you know what I'm saying? When I, when I say jump, she say how high type and mold in her mind, bro. But then on top of that, like he said, he was holding her career hostage leveraging that against her bro it's like a quadruple whammy bro can you imagine the emotional turmoil and abuse she going through that you don't realize it you don't realize it this is what they do i mean we still don't know but after i read that goddamn case or the, the complaint did he did everything cassie said that he did bro and here you got his ex-bodyguard confirming everything else too bro my thing is though dog it's like these are terrible allegations accusations and if he's guilty of them if you have a a rapist out here walking around free continuing to do it we allowing this fool to still walk free like why hadn't any prosecutors pursued this man like individually trying to build a case on him bro like put this mother away i mean like, he paying him off but still like y'all supposed to y'all supposed to protect and serve bro protect these women from this fucking monster dog oh damn uh <sighs> All right, I'm, let's do one more, bro. Let's do one more. This should say, Diddy, Diddy likes BBC. <laughs> Woo. Hey, Diddy likes BBCs. He enjoyed them with Cassie. Diddy hid his identity from exotic workers with the mask. 
All they saw was Diddy. I can say it now. We we way in this video now. If you made it this far, I can I can speak freely now. All these sex workers saw was Diddy's dick. <laughs> Him stroking it or or they saw his butthole from ramming. <laughs> Hey man, hey bro, the uh, surviving R. Kelly is gonna be crazy. Oof. I wanna dig deeper into this lawsuit by Cassie. Cause when we did the first interview, we couldn't get into every day because the lawsuit is so long. So looking at this lawsuit, she alleges that, you know, Diddy, he'll make her look online for BBCs for their freak out <laughs> sessions. And she say that, you know, in this lawsuit that, you know, Diddy, he enjoyed watching her get smashed by BBCs. So, you know, what you think about that? Do you think she was the only one getting banged by him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Man. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. This shit, this shit is gold, dog. <laughs> bro, I feel bad for laughing in such a fucked up situation, bro. But, dog. But, bro. But, bro. Do you think she was the only one getting banged by him? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this man had this woman search for prostitutes online <laughs> just for them to have sex with her? Oh, bro, that's so nasty. That's so terrible, bro. The images, dog. Hey, Diddy butthole him been through it. <laughs> just for them to have sex with her? Ooh. Oh, man. I'm hot. It's something fishy about that, bro. <laughs> because you got to realize this lawsuit and the information they had and they gave the Diddy people was six that's months. That's why, bro. That's why he paid her ass off. I know I can't have this shit out public, bro. Hey, I don't mind being called a, a grapist. I don't, be, I don't mind being called... Uh, a groomer, bro, but I cannot have the world knowing or beyond a reasonable doubt that I was taking BBC up there. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Oh, man. I can't do it. My stomach hurt, bro. Ooh, bro I'm hot. I'm hot. And they gave the Diddy people was <laughs> six months ago. So, some of that stuff was cut out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give you this, but you gotta cut this part out. Facts. Let's just say, allegedly, or just for the sake of it, Cassie wasn't the only one who wanted, or she didn't want it, but Cassie who searched for the big black. And she was searching for the big black, not only for herself, but for somebody else who we all know that was in the room with her. Bro, he was, that's, that's all him, bro. It's all him, dog. She a little kid, bro. I mean, she was, she 20, 21, bitch. Her 20, her goddamn naive, molded, brainwashed ass is now here. It's not out here consciously intently I, the whole point why she even searching up prostitutes in the first place is because diddy put that shit in her head so if he want to see it and he want her to su touch it <laughs> he might that other person in the room with her just might want to feel it allegedly <laughs> so you feel like diddy was having sex with the male prostitute they had to be for both of them they was in the room Right? You're right. It's a freak off session. <laughs> right? She said it's a freak off session. If she says a freak off session, brother, she ain't the only one freaking off. Facts. The prostitute ain't the only one freaking off. Facts. Old boy is freaking off also. <laughs> right, right. So you think he was letting these guys use their BBCs on him? I think that and just and say just it, being just say it dog. A trained investigator and reading through the lines of certain things, 
And one time I had read something that Cassie couldn't take it no more. She told her friend, and this was she she was under a non-disclosure and everything like that. She told her friend she couldn't take it no more because she had seen this dude do something. I've heard plenty of stories about him being on a yacht. That same yacht that Kim was on and the same yacht she got her nose broken on that somebody was doing something when she, to him when they walked in the room and it caused a confrontation. This is what somebody who was on the yacht said to me. You understand? They was telling that story to somebody. And it was a female. It's did it but fucked on the yacht. My whole thing about it was this, is that anything in that lawsuit, you got to realize that we only got a portion of it because it's been chopped up. Things has been taken out. So somebody would look a certain way. Now, they left some of the things in there. But I'm sure plenty of plenty of times Cassie may have seen some stuff that she ain't really want to look at. Facts. But it was freak off day. Some prolapse. Right, right. And when I look at this lawsuit, man, you know, Cassie, she also alleges that, you know, while she was having sex with these male prostitutes, her that, that, the that, male that dynamic messes me up, bro. It's a mind fuck. Like you a boss, bro. You like the boss of all bosses, but you a bottom. <laughs> How does that work, bro? You get off getting emasculated, but you a boss. <laughs> like you a you the real boss bitch. <laughs> you the real definition of a boss bitch. <laughs> Man, this is fucking crazy. Prostitutes and Diddy, they all wore masquerade masks. <sighs> he didn't want her to know who they were. So if she ever wanted to do what she just did. Couldn't identify. How does she say who how the person look? All she could describe is they if they was wearing masks. Unless she saw them before they put the mask on. It's craziness, man. And, and, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. Yep. <clears throat> all these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this it's and doing pop. this and trying to in, in 50 words did he been a fruit pop <laughs> hey. man just get diddy the fuck out of here bro get him out of here bro all these industry people know that did him to the wall been dog. acting like this and doing this and try to engage other men into sexual acts with him There was story that he was trying to get Chris Brown. There's stories about, you know, uh, those what was those those uh, those young boys that he had a group B five or something like that, trying to get them. Yo, it's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him, other people, Jimmy Iovine. Ain't nobody talking about Jimmy Iovine. He got sexual charges and everything on him. But he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of CNN. It's keeping it off the major news uh, uh, reports. Nobody's talking about that. Yeah, he talking that shit. This is something that goes on, man, that they're going to push up under the rug and a few a few years later, Bad boy, five, six, seven, eight will be out. Yo, hey, bro, this was perfect. Gene, uh, Gene Deal, dog, <laughs> he's one of a kind, bro. The fact that he's so willing to talk all this shit about Diddy, bro. Like, I'm wondering why he he feel 
safe doing it, bro. <laughs> yeah, just throw Diddy away, bro. Just throw him away.